Worlds, before we start with the video, I want to give a huge shout out to comment of the day, and that's going to go ahead and be Simon Erickson. Yes, I want CSR Drift. Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. If you have not seen that video where I talk about if CSR 2 made a drifting game, go ahead and check it out. It's somewhere in the channel. And if you want to be featured on coming of the day, just go ahead and leave your comment below. Make sure you're subscribed and make sure you hit that like button if this video helps you out. Now, let's go into the video. What's our world's the seven worlds gaming here today and today I'm gonna be showing you how you can earn 1 million RP Per crew season so without further ado, let's go into it If this video helps you out in any way make sure you go ahead and leave a like and if you're new to the channel Go ahead and subscribe now first things first is you don't necessarily need to have a fast car but you do need to have at least a tier 5 or any of the tier cars just almost max out. That will definitely help you out. As you can see right here, I just got done swapping with somebody. Thank you, by the way, if this is you and you're currently watching. I appreciate it, man. And pretty much what that happens is you go into a max out lobby and you trade wins and losses. So you they'll either let you win or you let them win. That's one way of getting super easy RP. And it's also one of the reasons why I usually don't race on really high lobbies because People are mostly trading there. They're swapping. It's what it's called. It is the term of CSR2. And I don't really want to go ahead and uh, just get a bunch of wins or get a bunch of losses, anything like that. I like to just leave those lobbies on its own. It's something I wish it was kind of removed from the whole game. I wish the game would actually go ahead and uh, reward you if you were on a winning streak in regards to RP. But that's for another video. Now, another thing besides, besides doing swapping is you need to pay attention to when your crews are going to be doing wild cards. And that is because wild cards are a huge, huge part of the game. So always be talking to your crew. Always know when the next wild card is going to happen. And always try to participate on them. And if you can, make sure you donate. That way, you'll be ready for the next time. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. I'm currently not at a million. But I'm about to show you how you can also get to a million. So I'm about 728,000. Now, let me go ahead and show you this. One thing you definitely need to go ahead and do is you need to at least have the Prestige Cup car. If not, you need to be aware of what kind of cars you're able to use on that Prestige Cup. Now, on the current Prestige Cup, I didn't really have to use the Prestige Cup car. Even though I have it, it is currently back there. I didn't really have to use that one, so I decided not to upgrade that car. As you can tell, this one has four stars. I decided to upgrade this bad boy right here, the Vorsteiner R8, and that's because this one has five stars, meaning that more than likely this car is actually going to be faster than the other one, and it allows me to do the Prestige Cup with it. So let me go ahead and do this race and we'll continue on. What the heck? Jess, you should not be popping up there. I know I messed up my shift, but come on, you should definitely get out of there. There you have it, a little bit of awful shift in here and there, but it doesn't matter. We got the Prestige Cup done, and I just got almost 200,000 RP just from finishing that Prestige Cup. Overall, if you do the Prestige Cup, I believe you get about almost 300,000. So this method is definitely, you're going to need at least the Prestige Cup car. So please keep that in mind. Now, besides that, usually throughout the crew season, some tournaments will come up certain cups that you can use with a prestige cup car or you can just use with any car and they will look something like this crew cup if you do a race as you can tell earlier we just completely finished that yesterday i already did my three races so now i can go ahead and collect my price so let me just go ahead and collect all of this because i just had it set up for this so let me just go ahead and collect this real quick and as you can tell now we have collected just a little bit over 200 and 60,000 RP in a matter of just minutes. Obviously, it took me some time to finish up this cups, but it was fairly easy. Another event that will pop up is supply cups. And every 15 races or so that you do on supply cups, you would actually go ahead and get 12,000 RP. And that is really good. You want to go ahead and just maximize all the RP you can get. So let me just go ahead and get this RP real quick. There you have it, Worlds. I was able to finish the race. I'm able to get another 12,000 RP for my crew. Now let's go ahead and see where I'm currently standing at in regards to my crew rankings and see if I'm at a million or not yet. Let's go ahead and see here. All right, sweet. So as you can tell right there, I went from 720,000 to just hitting a million. So please 
make sure that this method will definitely work if you have the prestige cup car and if you have other cars that you're able to use in certain cups because throughout the whole cruise season you gotta pay attention to those cups at least log in once a day and see what kind of cups are going on see how much rp you're able to get now another little trick that you're able to use is if you buy tier one cars you can actually get a lot of rp for that so let me go ahead and just show you what i'm currently talking about so look at the back end i currently have 5906 you know what let me just go ahead and change it to this car that way it will be a little bit closer oh okay for some reason the game kind of glitched on me there yet yeah, once again that's weird that's the second time that happens on a video damn all right so 5969 and yeah i don't cut off when i find glitches <laughs> i want the developers to be able to see everything that's wrong with the game so they can improve it in the long term 5969 what a number now let me go ahead and show you a way that you can pretty much add more rp on an hourly basis so if i was to buy this car right here for 30,000, which is fairly if you have a tier 5 car seriously 30,000 is super easy to get access to i'm not gonna want it to just get it super fast so i don't really care about that now let me go back and show you what the new rp is gonna be and there you have it i just gained 500 rp from just buying a tier one car so you can definitely go back into the tier one shop buy every single car i'm currently not able to because i actually been upgrading one of my cars <laughs> so i'm definitely not able to but every single hour you can definitely go ahead and buy every tier one card that you can purchase with cash and you will go ahead and get 500 rp for each car so that's something that's pretty much an easy way to go ahead and get free rp throughout the day if you have a lot of cash now with that said worlds once again hopefully this helps you out if it did make sure to not leave without leaving a like i can definitely go ahead and do a more extensive true rp tutorial where you can get upwards of four million but ha, sadly i honestly don't play that game that much i like to play it for fun four million rp is just a little bit too much for me one million rp is what we require on the crew and i'm glad that i'm able to help them out huge shout out to both of my crews the donna eat my pineapple crew all its members and the seven worlds gaming crew and all its members because they are absolutely awesome and they actually allow me to give free cars away every now and then so if you want to stay tuned for that go ahead and make sure you're subscribed to the channel hopefully this helped you out worlds Keep an eye out for those events, keep an eye out for those prestige cups, and I hope you hit 1 million RP in the next season. As always, it has been the 7 Worlds Gaming, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.